In this video, I'm going to quickly explain to you how you can add products to your Shopify store. It's a very simple, easy process, and I'm going to quickly break down to you how to do it. So what you want to do is come to your admin panel of your Shopify store. You want to look for a panel that looks like this. So this is the home page of your admin dashboard. And there, come to the left side here with all these links, and you want to click on products. So these are all the current products that you have in your store. If you don't have any products, it will be an empty. This will, You won't have this. It will just be empty. But what we want to do is we want to add a new product to your store. So what you want to do is come here to this big green button, add product. And of course, the first thing that we see is the title. So let's just say, for example, we'll say men's beer or like this. And then let's do a description. So we'll say the best beer world there before. Comes in two sides. A simple description like this. All right. So next thing that we have is we have our title, we have a description, but of course you can't just have words. You need to have images so your customers know what it is that they're gonna buy. So come to media. You can add your files, and we already have one. This is, this is just an example that you can add to your store like this. If you ever need images, you can use this website Unsplash. But you do have to attribute it. This is just for an example, but if you're going to use it, you have to give them attribution, whoever's images that you're using. But of course, you always want to use your actual image of the product itself instead of a stock image. Um, try as best as possible to use the actual image of the product that somebody's going to buy. So you're not showing one picture, but then when the customer buys, they get something else that's different. So you want to keep that in mind. So as we come down here, we have product organization. If you want to add a category, for this example, we're not going to do that, but you can add categories, you can add types. So like for here, we can say beard, oil, and like this. Vendor, there's collections. If you want to add to a specific collection on your store, there's tags. So for let's add a tag, we can say beard. We can say oil. So two tags. Two tags are like search phrases that people would look up on your website to find a specific product. So if somebody typed in oil or beard, this product will show up under that, the search results. So as we come to pricing, let's just add, we'll say $15. If you also wanted to do a compare ad price, you can add that in as well. There's cost per item. And then of course we come down here, there's inventory. So let's say for this example, we're gonna add an inventory of 999. Good. And then of course we have our stat keeping unit. So this is a way of identifying each product that's in your store. For this example, we're going to keep it simple. We're just going to put one. And then the shipping information, we have barcode if you want to add that in. Digital products, if these are physical products, it's digital because digital products, you're not physically shipping them. But physical, you have to put in the weight and those type of information. So it's a little different process. And this is also a very important detail down here, the search engine listing. Because if somebody, shop, if somebody types on Google and types in beard oil, this is what's going to show up. So you want to make sure that whatever is in here matches what you want to show up on Google to best describe your product, the best way to describe your product. So make sure that this looks like what you want to show up on Google. So once you have everything set up here, you have your product, you want to click on save. Let's make sure we did everything good. All right, so good. So we have our product in. So we come back to products. We come see it's in there now. So we got our status. We got inventory, type, vendors. So good. Everything's good. So now what we want to do is we want to come to our live website just to make sure that everything works well. So let's come refresh the page here. What we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here all the way to the bottom and click on shop all to see the products. Good. So now we see our men's beard oil is in there. So let's click on it. Make sure it looks good. Good. We have our title. We have our image. We have quality, quantity. This works. We have our description here. Good, so everything works. So that's basically how you can add a product to your Shopify store. Of course, for this example, you want to add more images. You want to have a better description and things like that. But this is a very simple way of how to add products to your store. So if you're looking for a new Shopify theme, you're looking for a custom theme or custom features, you can come to our Etsy store here. The link is in the description, or you can also search on Google Etsy.com slash shop slash ZQDO. But if you can't remember that, link's in the description. You come down here, we have six custom Shopify themes. We just released a theme not too long ago with custom features, custom animations here. If you come back here, we have this two divided, this two column section that we custom built. We also have this custom 
hover feature like this, where you can have images with hover feature with this, this describing your image. So a lot of custom features in there. You can come check out our custom themes if you're interested in using this for your store. Also, if you have a custom Shopify theme, but you're looking to maybe make some custom changes, you need help adding something, technical support, you can come to our website, it's zqdo.info. The link will also be in the description. zqdo.info, you can come here, you can click on start here to learn a little bit more about what it is that we do and how we can help you, the different services that we provide. You can click on start here, and then you can also click on about to learn more about what it is that we do, how we can help you see our work, see our projects. So if you need any help, feel free to reach out to zqdo.info and we'll be glad to help you out. But this video is just an example of how to add a product to your Shopify store and I hope I was able to help.